Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Rail Mount 1 uh, from Streamlight. This bad boy here is rocking 350 lumens. It also has an output of 1200 candela, which is able to bring the beam from this flashlight out to about uh, 219 meters, I believe. So this is no sleeper. But uh, what I wanted to talk about uh, specifically is the actual uh, pads that uh, street Streamlight uses. I'm a big fan of their flashlights. I rock their pistol light on my uh, everyday carry uh, handgun, my Smith & Wesson Compact, and I love that thing to death. And then I rock uh, their macro stream as my EDC for my light. So Streamlight is a fantastic company, and I have no doubt that they'd help me with the little problem that I am having. But this is something that I thought everyone uh, should be made aware of a little bit here. So basically, the, uh, the problem that I'm running into is when it comes to the pad here, I'll see if it can do it, but sometimes when I press the button on the pad, sometimes I'm able to actually get the full 350 lumens. And there is a fresh battery in here, by the way. I thought maybe the, having an older battery is the reason why this was happening. But sometimes when I press on the pad, I'm able to get the full 350, and then sometimes it seems like it's a very uh, low lumens, even though I don't have any feature for this to be outputting a uh, lower lumen. So here we go, let's see. So here, this is the low lumens. This is the first tap that I did. It's low lumens here. I'm not sure how well this is coming across, but this is not bright at all. And then let's see, right here. So now this is the full 350. So I was able to show this on camera. And my thumb is relatively at the same location here. If I press this button right here, um, it even when I'm pressing this button now too, it's uh, bringing out like the lower lumen. So I thought uh, this is something kind of interesting. And uh, you guys might want to uh, take note of that. I like that Streamlight gives you like the little clicky tail cap. So I'm probably going to switch out uh, this pad here for the actual clicky button tail cap because I read online that's a little bit more reliable uh, since I'm running into problems here. And I'll also contact uh, Streamlight to see if they can do anything to help me uh, with this pad here as well too. So thank you guys very much for watching. This was just a little update video. Not bashing Streamlight at all. I'm a huge fan of uh, their company and I love their products. But yeah, if you guys have this flashlight, I honestly recommend running the clicky tail cap instead of this. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.